Welcome to Sugar MDs. Today we are going to talk about medications. Know your medicine series. Today we are going to talk about Victoza. So, what is Victoza? If you're on it, that's a great time to learn about it. So, Victoza is a gastrointestinal hormone. What does it mean? Yes, it is an intestinal hormone that the developers actually looked at the gastrointestinal hormone that you make and made something similar. So, why is it so important? that you take this gastrointestinal hormone because that is the hormone that actually allows your body to make insulin when you eat. So it makes sense, right? So otherwise, in type 2 diabetic patients, they eat. However, the stomach does not talk to pancreas anymore. They're broken up. So as a result, the Victoza reestablishes that connection between your stomach and then your pancreas. And then next time you eat, you will start making your own insulin. So as a result, it is actually a wise thing to do or to consider before you go to insulin three to four times a day. Now, there may be some downsides to Victoza, which could be if you have a history of pancreatic cancer or medullary thyroid cancer in your first degree family members, you may need to take some caution with this medication. Not that it causes cancer in human studies, however, in animal studies, in the initial development stage, some rats developed uh, medullary thyroid cancer and pancreatic cancer, so you always take it with a grain of salt and be cautious at that point. If you had pancreatitis before, there are some anecdotal reports that the Victoza may cause pancreatitis. So how do you use Victoza? We will go to the practical aspect of Victoza. However, just to summarize quickly, the starting dose of Victoza is 0.6 milligram. And then after three to seven days, you can proceed to 1.2 milligram. And if necessary, you can go all the way to 1.8 milligram. So the pen comes in three different doses. There are some people who may not even tolerate the smallest dose of 0.6 milligram of Victoza. For those patients, there are some tricks. So between 0 and 0 0.6 milligram, there are actually around 10 clicks. Start very, very slowly. Maybe start with two clicks initially, the four clicks the next day, or you can advance every other day. That way, by the time you get to 0 0.6 milligram, it's already 10 days. So it gives some time for your body to adjust to the medication because everybody's tolerance to medication is, is different. And most of the time, physicians go by the label, go by the prescribing information. However, medicine is not just science. Medicine is an art. There are similar medications to Victoza, such as Bayara, which is the first generation, the first one that came to the market. And then Victoza is the, pretty much the second. And then weekly injections came to the market, uh, which are Trulicity, Ozempic, Bidrian, uh, you name it. There are some other brands out there. Now, your physician and yourself are the ultimate decision maker. However, if you have any questions about Victoza, feel free to ask us as well at sugarmds.com. Victoza comes in three different doses, starting at 0 0.6 milligram, that's your first dose, and then 1.2 milligram, and then 1.8 milligram. Every three to five days, or up to seven days, depending on your toleration, you can increase your dose. Um, the first dose is 0 0.6 milligram, as you can see. So, if you have a problem with even the lowest dose, which is 0 0.6 milligram here, you may want to actually start a little bit lower, maybe a couple clicks until you come to 0 0.6. There are actually 10 clicks between 0 and 0 0.6. So you can actually count the clicks and advance much, slow, much more slower. So by the time you're at 10 clicks, it's going to be 5 days. And that's generally much more tolerable. The next step is, of course, after you dial your dose, you take the, um, the cap off and then you put your needle on. And then you basically just screw that on and take the first cap off and then the smaller cap off. Now the needle is exposed. At this point, you should be ready with your skin clean. And then since the needle is too small, as you can see, you don't have to pinch your skin. And the areas that you can actually inject are these colored areas, this orange color here under your thighs, 
around your abdomen, not around your umbilicus, upper buttocks, and the back of the arms. And you go directly 90 degrees, push it in, and then push the plunger in. And then you will see that it's going all the way down, and the number is down to zero now. And you only have to keep it there for 5 to 10 seconds. And then you pull it back, and then remove your pen needle. Make sure you put that in a safe container with a lid. And then you can put your Victoza back to its place. Now, any insulin uh, and Victoza, uh, and remember that Victoza is not an insulin, however, any pen that, that you can think of uh, should not be refrigerated when they are in current use. You should refrigerate them if you're not using the pen currently. For example, the pens that you're going to be using two months from now should stay in the refrigerator. However, the one that you are using on a daily basis does not have to be refrigerated. If you have any problems with the medication's side effect, the cost, the dosing information, please call us at sugarmds.com. We'll find a way to help you out.